right in front of Bruno Senna's car. Great pickup by the TV guys, by the way. The safety car is out and the fire truck is already there. And not even the best of onboard systems is going to quell those flames. That is a big, big fire. The rear, the carbon now has caught fire, the underneath part of the engine bay, that's going to burn to the ground. That Ferrari is going to burn back to the firewall. Thick pall of black smoke over to my left behind the pit lane. And everything behind the firewall of that Ferrari is going to go. It was just coming around the middle part of the circuit and there's fluid pouring out the back of that car started at the left-hand rear and then spread quickly across the back of the car. Bruno Senna clearly could see that. The onboard picture's scary as Wielander's car is out of the race in the biggest way possible. Good news is, and I'm going to say this again in case you didn't hear, Wielander is out and Jimmy Bruni watching the same pictures as we saw, identifying sadly his teammate's car as it continues to burn despite the best efforts of the fire marshals. I don't think they're going to be able to put that out. That will just have to burn. Paul Truswell. Watching that is very scary indeed. Yeah, yes, it is. And uh, particularly if you're actually there, I mean, I've been at a couple of racetracks where you see that plume of smoke and uh, with the benefit of uh, TV pictures, we can uh, see and be assured that uh, V-Lander was out of the car. And uh, you could kind of sense from his body language that even when he was out of the car uh, and behind the barrier, he's, there was still an element of, uh, of, of fear in, in, in his body language. You know, he wanted to be away as far as possible away from that car as he possibly could. I just wonder whether it could have been just a, 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 a massive fuel tank failure. I mean, the split, I mean, there'll be back tanks within there, but uh, I just wonder what, uh, I mean, clearly, fuel causing the problem there but uh, you know it seemed as though the whole fuel tank uh, must have ruptured uh, and that was what then uh, caused the massive conflagration so uh, he was quickly yeah, out of the very, car a very scary uh, moment uh, for everybody because you know you don't want to have uh, burning cars uh, on a racetrack and it's a sight you don't see very often these days very interesting to see Vlander at the side of the track with his thumbs up to his other Ferrari teammates. That fire's still not out. And it was raging so much that by the time that Vlander was pulling it off to the side of the track, it was melting the rear tyres. There was actually rubber being left on the track where it was melting away from the Michelins. The mechanics shaking their head. Jimmy Bruni's walked off to the back, but good to see Tony Vlander at the side of the track and giving the thumbs up to his colleagues as they went by. Uh, I, I think he must have felt the heat within the, the cockpit as well, Paul. I mean, the, the, the back of the, it's a rear engine car, the Ferrari. There is a solid firewall between them, but with the, the flames of that ferocity, there's no way that that wasn't coming through into, in fact, I just, uh, sorry, his body language there. I think he was feeling the heat on, on the back of his neck and uh, decided to bail out wisely very quickly. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it is, as I say, it's not a thing you see very often these days, but uh, when it does happen, it's even more shocking. And, uh, yeah, you will feel the heat. Uh, I mean, it's a hot day anyway. And, uh, you know, even though you've got um, fireproof clothing on, you still uh, say it's still a dangerous situation. Back of the Ferrari is now a charred mess. Uh, carbon fibre, once it gets going as well, is very, very difficult to put out. This is the area of the track where David Brabham a couple of years ago in the prototype couldn't get the car quite up the hill and had to roll backwards into what is effectively the old track there and off the circuit within sight of the end of the pit lane. Remember that. And this car is going to take a while to be recovered. Vlander by the side of the track and absolutely fine, although I'm not sure he's very happy. They've got the tow rope on that car already water now being used rather than foam to get the temperature of the back of that car down to try and get uh, the potential of a of the car bursting back into frames and, and take that potential away uh, Joe Bradley's down in the powered by Nissan pit lane any signs of people want to take advantage of this it seems like we've only just gone green of course 
yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, Paul's more of a tactician than, than, than uh, I am. However, with times like this, we can deliberate. If, if I was in charge, if I was on the wall, I'd be coming in. I'd be taking advantage of the yellow, taking a...